how to add a lesson, the Exploring Pop Art um, collection, and there's a bunch of different lessons, resources, assessment ideas that you can kind of just plug and put into your Google Classroom assignments depending on what your student need is. So I'm going to continue with this pop art um, lesson here. And so when I click on it, it's going to take me to the detailed lesson. Um, so there's a variety of, way, variety of ways that you can put this in here. And what I'm going to do is my students probably don't need to see this first part of it here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to download the lesson plan. And when I download the lesson plan, it will take me to a form that looks like this. And I'm just going to actually plug this into my Google Classroom um, assignment because, you know, student, it's good for to outline what students might need to know, but they really might benefit from the steps that are broken down. One, two, three, four, five. They break down the steps for those maybe really visual learners who really need to break it down. And if they're working on their own at their own pace, this might be something that might be really useful for them. So as you go through, you can look through the resources and material, the things that you might find useful to your students. So I'm going to use the pop art pattern examples. The five W's of pop art. I'm going to download this one, this pop art timeline, um, to plug into my students' Google Classroom assignment as well. And then down here at the video, um, we can't download the videos, but you can press share um, and copy that link to your clipboard to add into your Google Classroom assignment. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to go back and I'm going to create, well, let's, I'm just going to edit this one that I've already started. So to do that, I'm just going to press edit and we are back here with my pop art project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add that video link that has been um, copy and pasted. So I just add the link and there is the pop art video. So here I might, um, I'm going to add in all my resources first and then set up the instructions for my students. So this would be kind of my introductory activity that I'm going to have students to do. So then the next material I'm going to add in, I want to add in a file. And I'm just going to drag these in from the bottom because I want that pop art timeline. I want that pattern example, um, the Andy Warhol artist bio, and the five W's of pop art and the pop art selfie. So just like that, I'm able to want, add in one, two, three, four, five different PDFs. Now that might be overwhelming for your students depending on what the lesson is. So just make sure that you are keeping that in mind. So I'm just going to upload them and it shouldn't take very long, but then all of those resources will be added into the assignment in one place. Okay, so now that those are all in there, um, we are ready to kind of add in the instructions that you might want for your students. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say one, um, watch the what is pop art video. Okay. Two, explore the history of pop art. Using these resources. So I'm going to put in the pop art timeline. And unfortunately, you can't do a lot of formatting on this, so um, just kind of use dashes and bullets as you can. So I'm going to do the pop art 
timeline, Andy Warhol, artist bio, five W's of pop art. Okay, so then from here, you might want to add in, this is kind of where the the flexible nature of flex curriculum comes into play, is you can add in, um, maybe you, you want your students to have a reflection assignment or something like that. So you, after completing this step two, you could say, um, write a two to three sentence response of some of the things that stood out most about the pop art movement, okay? So now that can be kind of cool. You could then add in a Google Doc link here if you wanted students to fill that in. Um, but you can get, that's a little bit more advanced, but um, you can see how some of this might set up and it's just nice because it's all in one space. So then from here, you could say, okay, now you've explored your pop art things. Um, the next thing then would be to view the pop art selfies lesson. And then from here, the instructions could be on there to get started with that activity. Um, so then once you have all that in there, now depending on what you're doing in your classroom, if you're doing all virtual learning, you could totally create a video and add this in on your own based on how you would do an in-class demonstration. You can just record that and upload that on here so that students can access it at any time. So then from here, I'm going to delete this rubric because it doesn't fit in with what I'm doing right now. So then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and press assign. And that assignment will then be assigned to all of my students. And all of those resources are added in here um, to view. When students turn things in, you can, it'll show up that five students have turned things in. You're still waiting on a few of them. So it's a really easy thing. If you come in and view the assignment like this, you'll see the student work side of it. The instructions of what students are supposed to do are listed here with all of these resources for students to access. And it's super easy because they just click and those things can pop up for them to use. And so it's a really slick way to just have all of your resources in one place without necessarily having to print them out and things like that. Now, one last thing that I want to show you is if we go back here to the um, your stream. So one of the things in the classwork tab is that you can actually, you don't just have to create assignments. You can create different materials. So for instance, when you're adding in different materials for Flex, that pop art pattern example, um, so those pop art patterns, that might be something that students use as inspiration all throughout their art class and it might not necessarily just be related to this pop art project. So you might want to create materials and so those just store in a different place and can act as a bank of resources or downloads for students to just kind of go back to over and over again. So then you can describe them here but you really don't need to do that. You can add a topic if you would like to, but I like to keep all of my materials together so that here students could just say, oh, I remember looking at that, and they can just view the material and they have that inspiration there and it's not necessarily tied to an assignment, but it's just a good bank of resources there. So um, that's just a really simple, easy way that you can use the Flex curriculum resources to integrate into your um, Google Classroom classes.